Hello, everybody. Becky here at Aunt Bex Creations. And sorry I'm late getting back on here. Um, my son called and wanted to talk and talk right when I was about to sign on. So, <laughs> yeah, that's happened. So, hi, Barb. And all I'm going to do is work on this little journal that we made together. I want to finish getting my pages covered. And I decided I'm only going to put a corner pocket on every other page. So this page, I won't put a corner pocket. And then I'll let this open toward the back of the page, just so this pocket's not, you know, encumbered by anything else there. So that's what my plan is. So I figured out my, I've had to figure out my mat size all over again and all. And I think this is all the black paper I have. So I'm kind of hoping it's enough to finish this journal. And I, I guess I'm going to start a list of um, things I've used up that I need to re replace. So I'm going to cut two sheets at a time, or maybe three sheets at a time, and cut the mats I need for cards and see how many I can get out of here. So the mats for the cards are three and a half by five and a quarter. So if I cut this at the five and a quarter, it should cut three layers. It should. We're saying that. It might take more than one pass. And then I'll save those aside. And then I'll cut these at three and a half. This way. I'll just make a stack of them. So these are mats for the cards. And each card needs uh, four mats. So, And we'll save these little bits in case we need tabs or something. Hi, Ray. Brittany, I love the little hearts you um, did. The little, little... Um, Oh, now I can't remember what you made them out of, but it was resin, wasn't it? They turned out really good. I really like those. I saw them on Facebook. Hi, Ray. I'm just cutting my mats for my cards in my envelope journal at the three and a half by five and a quarter. So that'll get me started on doing the cards. That's the mats there. And then the envelope mats are five and a half by four. So if I do three sheets again, one, two, three. We'll see how far I have um, black paper. It, yeah, it's resin. They were awesome. So th for the envelope black mats, they're five and a half because it's a little bit larger than the card, of course. So five and a half and five and a half. That's the 11, right? That they should all be the same size. And then these need to be cut at four inches. So four inches. And four inches. And I told Greg that I wasn't sure if we were still coming down there or if we're just going to stay in place here in Greenville until like the first of April. Um, I told him we would kind of play it by ear. And I don't know if I'll do every day next week like I did this week. We have a number of us going live. But what I might do is sign on. And if nobody's on, I might just pop on and do a short project. So we'll see how it plays out. So I've got mats for envelopes, mats for the cards. And I've still got some black paper here. 
looks like I've got one, two, three, four. I got five sheets of black left. So I don't know how far that'll get me, but we're going to see. Now, for the cards, I just cut um, a print paper. This is leftovers from last time that I tucked in here. I might use those. So I like to put a print on the front of the cards. I think I'll use this on the front of a card. I think I have enough black mats for two cards. And I might cut these out together too to save me time. So if I put these together, all right, so five inches tall. by three and a quarter wide. That should do two cards. So those will go in the card pile. And then I'll need two prints to go on the envelopes. So let me see. Uh, hi, Joyce. Hi, Mitz. Hi. Oh, that's Joyce. I was going to say hi, Joyce again. Hi, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. So let's see. I've got enough to do several envelopes. We'll cut two at a time, so I'll cut those. So the height of it needs to be five and a quarter. Five and a quarter, and the width on these is three and three quarters. All right, so I did the pocket watches and the numbers. Let's do a couple more. I'll have to reprint, um, reuse the same prints probably, and I like to use these. So I don't know who all made one of these envelope journals with me. I know Mary did, and Mary's using hers to put the pictures of projects she's made in, which I thought was an excellent idea. So now I've got some uh, things to do here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, let's see. So I want this side to be the one that I put the, the double piece. So I'm going to put mats on all these other places first. And I don't ink the mats. I'm just putting these on. And if I gave this to someone, I would give them the same size as these. It could be the size of their photos. So they'd know which size, you know, would fit in here perfectly. And I've got that aggravating roll of adhesive that I'd like to use up that the Cardboard center keeps falling out of the middle. So I'm just going to stick this down. There's one of Tippy's hairs. It'll have to go to somebody that's not allergic to cats, that's for sure. Or I might keep this one and put pictures in it. I really like how it's turned out. Before I leave today, I want to give away the bumblebee box. I totally forgot to do it yesterday. So you guys remind me, say bee box. When I start saying, I'm going to sign off, say, no, not yet. You got to give away the bee box, okay? Y'all have to help me out. There goes the cardboard out of the middle of this roll of tape again. Push it back up in there.
So I'll, I've just been watching YouTubers the, the last couple days. Just all the YouTubers all the time. <laughs> I need two more of these. I only put the print paper on the P on the side of the card that's going to be visible as you're flipping through because I wanted to leave the space on these mats for photos. So that'll go on the back. This will go on the front and I'm going to apply a um, piece of the print paper that I that I did. So I'm going to set that one aside. I'm going to stick these down. So this is kind of boring, I guess. <laughs> Just watching me put this together, but it's what I had planned to do this afternoon. I'm sitting here with windows open and fans going and sweating. It's 82 degrees here today. It is hot. Not hot like it usually gets in the summer, thank goodness, but hot. If we end up staying up here instead of going down to work on the house, we will probably do things like clean the filters on the window units and, you know, maybe work in the yard a little bit, that kind of stuff. So we still will be busy. There's always something to do no matter where we are. We'll bring my trash can just a little bit closer. It's a shame we can't come up with some idea to use all these little pieces we pull off instead of them going in the trash, you know? Uh-oh. Of the release tape. Just eyeballing. Get it as close as I can. Barb, um, I'm not sure what you're talking about, hon. Glue the cardboard in. And I will put this one here. And Mary said she was going to work on her journal, her envelope journal, if I was working on mine. So that's probably what she's doing. had been letting the little dog run around but when I came on live I decided I better not do that she might piddle on the floor while I wasn't paying attention so I put her back in her crate I was thinking of putting her outside in her playpen but I, I need to move her playpen to where she gets some shade because it's just too hot in direct sunlight all right so I'm going to put my matted piece here but before I do that I want to ink this piece because I've been inking the paper And while I've got the ink out, I might just go ahead and do all of the pieces of print that I um, have already cut so I don't have to stop to do it again. So to speed up your activity, if you cut all your segments at, at once, then do all of putting all the tape on at once, put all the ink on at once, and so on. That saves you time when you're constructing it because you're not repeating the same motions. I'll even go ahead and do these that I did for the envelopes and then set them back over there. This would be a good size for a travel journal that you could put pictures in of a trip that you took 
or something like that. And I have a playlist. I think I did a playlist of all of the videos to do these. And I'll add this video to that playlist since we're finishing it up. I have not made tags. And see, this has got some boogery bits from the cutter not cutting all the way. So I might clean that up. Or I might just leave them. Oh, on the, oh, der. Glue it in place inside the tape. That would be a good idea. I was, I was just hoping I could struggle with it one more day and use it up. And then I wouldn't have to deal with that roll anymore and hope that none of my next few rolls of tape does the same thing. That is a good idea. I just lost that train of thought, Barb. I, I guess I'd moved on. <laughs> you and your dad doing okay up there? Staying warm and all? That was another thing we got to thinking about. You know, if we go down there, Scott's mother's going to want us to come visit. And she's 92. And I just don't think it would be wise for us to bring any cooties from up here over to her. So, I don't know. Look at my hand. Do I have wet ones handy? Of course not. All right. See, I got some ink on there from that sponge. Now I'm wiping them on my dress. Let me grab some wet ones. You're not in trouble, baby. I'll let you out when I'm done, okay? I know. She thought she was going to get to eat the cat food, and I went and put her back in there after I took her out to potty. I'll let her out in a little bit. All right. Oh, you're sitting in your recliner relaxing. Well, that's a good place to be, too. All right, these need tape. I was having fun watching Barb, so I said, well, I'll wait an hour, and uh, she usually signs off after two hours, and uh, her looking for toilet paper in the, in the grocery store ads was funny, just like trying to find it in the grocery store, right? Let's get... Like I said, I'm going to do all of these while I got the, this aggravating tape on my hand. I'm just going to get all this tape put down in the same motion so I'm not lifting it up and putting it down a bunch of times. So my niece works for Kohl's and um, she is off until April 1st, so I guess they've I don't know, cut the hours or close the stores. I don't know. Her wife just told her, had posted that she was glad to have her home for couple weeks. My niece has an Instagram account that she goes on and she draws and her and her wife, they do doll. Um, they um, design dolls and that kind of stuff. And uh, make clothes for dolls and that kind of thing. I 
And I think they're writing a book together. They do a lot of creative things. All right. All the tape, all the time. Unable to connect to chat. Please try again later. Oh, no. Are you guys there? Have I lost you again? This is, I guess, because there's so many of us live. Hmm. Well, I can't see chat. So if you guys are chatting and asking me anything, I'm sorry, I can't see it. I'm just going to keep going. And if it's recording, it's recording. If it's not, it's not. And we're going to go with it. So I'm going to glue this to this. I don't know which way's up. We're going to say that way's up. Well, because the, the chat has totally stopped. I don't know whether to start again or just let it go. Because it says there's still 15 of you watching. And it's still showing that I'm live. I just can't see the chat. I don't know what to do about that, except to just keep talking at y'all and hope you're enjoying watching it. I'm probably only going to stay on an hour anyway. I got a message from somebody, but my phone is clear over there. Let me see what it says, because it might be one of y'all. Let's see here. It says, we can see and hear you. Thank you, Holly. Well, I'm just going to keep going and working on this. And uh, y'all just chat amongst yourselves. Because I don't see the chat. It says, unable to connect chat. Please try again later. Maybe it'll suddenly start working. Thanks for letting me know. So I was thinking, oh, I don't know how I'm going to give away the bee box, though. I might have to come back on just to give away the bee box. Okay, let's see. What does Holly say? Don't forget the bee box. I hear you. I just, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it now. I might just do it from the people that are here. I'll write the names down and throw them in a jar of the ones that I can see. All right, so that's my folder that when I stick it back in the pocket, this one is going to point toward the back of the journal like like so is it or should I put it the other way because on this one I was going to put a back pocket so I'm just testing something real quick here I just want to say can I have two of these facing each other like this and will they be all right like that? And then put a pocket back here on this one. I think it would be okay. We'll just try it out. So now let's decorate a couple of these. And I didn't put tape. I put tape on all of this, but I didn't put tape on these. I'm just going to do two of these.
I wonder why it does that sometimes and the chat just disconnects for the person that is live. And I don't know how to get it to clear up without starting a new one. And I don't really want to start a new one. I just want to keep going and get this journal done. Somebody had asked me one time, could you not decorate the envelopes and the cards and stuff before putting them in the book? And I guess you could um, if you want. It will work either way. Whichever works for you, I guess, is the best information I can give you. Um, I just like to do it in the book so I can make sure the pages, you know, I've make sure I've done all of my measurements correctly before I glue anything on them. And I want to make sure I get the envelopes in there good before I decorate them because sometimes I get them in crooked and I have to pull them back out. And that can be a pain if they're decorated because if you rip it up, then you've messed up a whole page. So I'm just going to go until about 5.05. Is that right? 5.05? Yeah. I think that'd be a good time to do. So there's that one. Oh, you know what I could do? I could bring the chat up on here so I can still see you guys. What a duh. Duh. -uh. We'll have to just turn the sound off. Um, certainly I'm here somewhere. Let's see. Homepage. My channel. Do this. Channel. <laughs> okay, I'll quit hearing myself now. All right, so wow, I've, I've missed a lot here. So hello to Ruth and... Everybody, I can I can watch the chat on here. It's just not showing on my laptop. So, hi Teresa, hi Cheryl. Oh, I got my inchies and twinchies done. I need to get them packaged up. I am working on my envelope journal, Cheryl. Okay, there we go. And I'm not even listening to myself go, there we go. <laughs> I was like, how do you turn the sound down? And I'm like, duh, just turn the sound down on my whole phone. Of course, now if somebody calls me, you all will see it jumping all over. I might move that so you all don't have to see the glare of that white screen on there. There we go. That works. Now I can see you guys. Woohoo! Sometimes my brain works on little slow increments. It's like, Dorik, put them on your phone. That's what Mary does. Put them on your phone when it starts acting up. We'll get around you, old YouTube. Hi, 
Hi, Mina. Yep, I'm reading chat Mary's way. I might run to the bathroom and get my little um, picture thing that I, I watch videos in the bathtub. Um, <laughs> one of those little easels. I got one of those to set my um, phone on so I can watch videos while I'm getting ready for bed. All right. So there's some binoculars right here. That's how I'm choosing the direction this goes. Oh, I think there's a tippy hair caught in that one. I think I'll be keeping this one anyway. All right. Well, I might just, no, I'm going to do it this way. And then I'll have this one go this way. So this, this one will have the card on that side. That works. These are taped. These are not. When I came back, Barb, I had um, the monkey with an error. Um, like, I don't know what happened with her. You guys let me know if I lose my sound because I, I won't know if, unless you guys tell me. But, you know, they ought to be thankful that so many of us are doing this because I'm sure it's increased their revenue with so many people at home watching YouTube videos. Oh, Barb was in here for a minute. I, I missed her. That's Barbara Owen. Well, Barbara Owen, if you're still listening, I enjoyed today with you. And I was going to post when I got the, off the phone with Greg, I was going to post that it looked like she was going to um, dress the girl in an Alexander McQueen out, outfit with all the flowers and the cake and that kind of stuff like his his clothing is done. These are the envelope pieces that go on the envelope. That's funny. On my phone, it says there's 20 people here. And it's like the count and the chat on my laptop is just completely frozen at 15 people watching, four thumbs up, and the chat's not moving. So it's just all very strange. And Scott did not want to go to work today. And Greg got called in because everybody else is calling out. So he normally has Fridays totally off. So that's why I didn't make a big deal about going down there to deal with the HVAC people. <sighs> and then he got called into work. So he got woke up early because mom needed him to do something. And then he got called in, so, and he works maintenance. So I always worry about him not getting enough rest and, you know, dealing with those heavy machines and stuff. I try not to let my mind go to mother worries, but it's hard not to sometimes. But he is a grown man and I've just got to accept that he'll do what he needs to to take care of himself. I didn't raise him to be stupid or anything, so just have to trust he's going to be A-OK -okay, fine, right? All right, so we're going to put these on our next envelope here. 
I love to make these little envelope journals and they make such a wonderful gift for somebody. Like if somebody's having a new baby or whatever, send this to them, then fill it up and then send it to grandma. You know, you might have to make two so they could send one to each grandma, especially if they live, you know, out of state or out of town. It's not everybody has the luxury of traveling to see, you know, new members of family and that kind of stuff. Oh, I want this to be centered. I see Lucia made it home. I was glad to see that, that she got home safe and sound. It sounded like she had an absolute blast on her trip. I keep looking at the la at the laptop to watch chat and I can't do that. What was the movie that'll make you cry? Steel Magnolias? Yes, that'll make you cry your guts out. I watched a movie you guys on Netflix the other day that if you don't mind strange and weird movies, it's pretty good. But if you don't like that, don't watch it. It's called Horse Girl. I thought it was very strange. But, um, yeah, I watched it. It was strange. It was just a very strange movie. And I see the theaters are closing down. Of course, that would make sense, too. I bet there's been an increase in Netflix memberships. <laughs> Because I've been watching between YouTube and Netflix, I've got the computer on going with anything that is not news related. Oh, fried green tomatoes. Tawanda, she'd say. I love that movie. I love Kathy Bates in anything. Let's see. I've got to put this card together. And this is going to be the front of the card this time because it's going in the pocket this other way. So we need to apply adhesive to four of these. This one I think I've already done. I have two, three, four. That's what somebody was um, saying, that Frozen 2. Was out. I haven't, I've never watched Frozen 1. Um, I, I guess because I don't have grandchildren or, you know, any young children in my life on a constant basis like I used to. With me being the oldest and my son being so much older, I mean... My youngest sister was only, let's see, Rhonda was only like seven or something when my son was born. So, yeah, and she doesn't have, my youngest sister doesn't have any children. She has dogs. And her last puppy turns out to be a mixed breed with some Great Dane in it. And she keeps posting progress pictures on Facebook. And he just keeps covering more and more of the sofa. And then her other dog is like a little terrier. So it's absolutely hilarious. The size difference between her two dogs that she currently has. Now my sister Robin has two children that are closer to my son's age. And then all the other nieces and nephews are, you know, younger. And then my, um, well, my brothers each have a, a, a daughter in their 20s. And my youngest brother, he's going to be a grandpa before all the rest of us. So um, he's expecting a grandbaby in August. And let's see, he was born in 76. And he's the one that has the twins that are three now. So he's got a 20-something and then some, uh, like a 10-year-old and then the twins that are like three.
Misery is a creepy movie. Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't generally go for the creepy movies too much. I don't really care for... I don't mind like a suspense action thriller or something like that. But if it's like off the chain, too weird, or just flat out creepy, like I would never watch Chucky or any of those with, to do with chainsaws. No, I would never do that. I would never watch those. That was your rescue dog, Lucky. She just kept growing. Yeah. I can't remember the dog's name. Um, it's an it's an American Indian name for bear. I can't remember it for some reason right now. And the dog she has had previously that have passed on just had so such normal names. And then now she's naming them weird names. <laughs> oh. oh, well, congratulations, Sherry. Is she having a boy or a girl? Do y'all know? Oh, grandson. Duh. I read that as grandchild. See? Brain to mouth disconnect. It happens. I had to go drop some bills in the post office because I don't dare put bills out in the mailbox because somebody stole the lady down the street's mail and they used her checks to um, spend money. I don't know how they did it, but... They stole her banking information and bought stuff online, I guess. No, Chucky. Nope. Dolls aren't supposed to be creepy. They're supposed to be loving. I loved my baby dolls. I had a doll hospital, y'all. My grandmother had a flower room. I See, I was raised by my grandma. And she had a flower room, which was just a room that was... All of the walls were mostly windows. And she had... Um, two tiers where she could put pots up. They were like stair steps from about two feet from the outer wall toward the back of the room. And um, on three of the lower steps on one side, I set up my doll hospital and I would give them shots with pins and needles. I'd poke it in their toe. Don't ask me why. I was like four or five and I would mix things up. And they turned pink, and I thought that was cool. And then I'd get in trouble for wasting medicine. I would never drink any of it. I, it was for the dolls. It wasn't for me. You know, the inside of my baby dolls probably stunk to the high heavens when I was little because I made them eat stuff. Shoved it down their throats. <laughs> I should have been a chemist or something. I love to mix stuff up. Oh, no, it slipped. No. Well, lucky me, the wind kept it from sticking down. All right, let's try this again. Now you'll stick. I guess I was a doc mixed stuff mixed stuffings. All right, this next one, I want to make a corner pocket for it like I did on the first page. You know what? I think I messed up. I've already attached it. I can't put a pocket back there. So we're going to skip doing the pocket on this one. It's my brain checked out and I forgot to do it, but that's okay. We'll have plenty of places to put stuff. 
All right, so I'm going to put this one in facing the front like that. So these two will open. And this will be plain, and that'll have a pocket. That might work out good. We could do this one plain and put a pocket on this side on this one. That's what I'll do. And then I'll put the this toward the back again. So I need to cut the pattern pieces that I need for the front of the card, both sides of the envelope, plus I need to cut out a four inch square for the pocket. So we need three prints, four prints. When my sister Robin's um, children were little, they would bring their VHS tapes with, with them when they'd come visit me. And um, they would watch Barney. That was, that was my nephew Drake's favorite thing, Barney. Had to have Barney on all the time. We're using this paper pad up. All right, so I need one piece for this, the front of the card. I think I'll use the flowers. And that was three and a quarter by five. Three and a quarter and the five. Uh-oh. Might have to fix that one because it's messed up. Need scissors. Oh. Do it over the trash can so I don't make a mess. I'm just going to clip off the boogers that the cutter left. I thought about putting a new blade in it, but that didn't happen. Okay, so that goes on the card. So now I need to cut the two for the pages. Did I cut that wrong? This is supposed to be at five and a quarter. <gasps> I cut it wrong. I cut this at five. by three and a quarter. No, that, that's right. That's right for this. I'm right. Never mind. My bad. These I want to cut at five and a quarter. By three and three quarters. And then those go with that. And then this piece, oh, I need something that's, um, I don't think that'll work for a pocket. Hang on. Hold the phone, as Mary says. Hold the phone. This might work better for the corner pocket. And I'm just, just need a four by four. Okay, let's do some inking. Actually, this one, I don't need to do inking when it's in this state. This one I need to score a uh, half an inch from each side. Let's see if I can get a hold of just this. So I'm just going to come over a half an inch, so at three and a half, and score there, then turn it, 
and then score it three and a half again. And I'm going to fold these. And then I'm going to cut the little corner triangle out at kind of an angle. Like that. So you end up with that. And then I like to cut these so they are not sticking out so much. All right. Then I'm going to line this up with a line on here. I need to make one little line a little bit darker. And score. No, that's wrong. No, 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 that's wrong, wrong, wrong. I'm just going to go with it. This, It needs to be from the top of the flap to the top of the flap, not the way I did it. Don't do like I did it. Don't do like that either. <laughs> I'm having a hard time with this. Let's see how horrible it looks. That looks horrible. And I can't really flip it the other way. Let me get another piece of paper because I messed that one up. Doggone it. Okay, hubby's calling. Be right back. Okie day. We'll be here. Can't believe I messed that up. I need to pay attention when I'm talking to myself. <laughs> All right, so a four inch circle. Let's try this again. Not a circle. It's a square. Hey, I even gave that lesson on Facebook today, the other day that this is a square, not a circle. <gasps> Sometimes I need to insert a brain in my head. All right. I'm going to turn this over. Mark it on the back side. Half inch. Turn. Half inch. Fold it back, fold it back, cut, and cut, cut a little corner off this side, and this side, all right, we're going to line the top and the top here up, and do it on this four inch line. That's not quite right. Of course, I'm going to mess it up again. That's better. And then fold this in. Let's look and see. That doesn't look bad. I'm going to put this back in here. I might do one more pocket. All right. If the, your tabs aren't folding over very good, you can always just trim a little bit off the fold, the triangle that you put toward the inside. I might do that on both sides here. I'm only trimming away like an eighth of an inch of the material. Now that'll lay flat in there. Okay. I'm just putting a little piece of tape to hold this in place on the inside. And then fold that down. And then I'll put tape on my tabs here. Oops. We'll put some tape on all of this bits here. And then I'll ink everything. Yes, it does on the back. I could put that in, couldn't I, for a straight line?
You think I need some coffee? How many of these do I have? One, two, three, four. Just enough for one more card. It does the angle. I'll do that on the next one. I think I'm only going to do one more pocket like that anyway. So I'll have three pockets in here total. All right, so that one's not going to need inking. I'll set it over there. I had not even thought about that. It's just getting a little bit later in the day. Well, it's after five o'clock, you guys. I don't think I'm going to finish this up with you guys. I'm sure. I tell you what, let me finish this one. Get it all put together. And then we'll do the giveaway for the bee box. So for the giveaway, we're just going to do put random numbers in, but don't put any in until I type go, okay? Well, I can't type go. Yes, I can. Can I? I can try. Um, and one number per person. Don't worry about duplicates. It'll be the first one that puts the number in that's closest without going over. And this is nothing special. It's just for this bee box. It's got some goodies in it. And I'll probably add a couple other things. But this is the bee box we made together the other day that I told you I was going to paint a bee. And see, I put um, glossy accents on his wings and everything. So in a little bit, we'll do that. As soon as I finish putting this together. All right, so I've got one, two, three, four of those. Plus, I need to ink this. This needs to be done. Then I need to ink these, two of these. Oh, there goes the thing. See, I'm almost done with this roll, so I'm not going to worry about gluing it. Get all the tape put on everything I need. And I will finish this off screen. And, you know, maybe the next time we get together next week, I'll do a flip through. The little journal I made with um, Tanya and uh, Lisa sometime last year, we did the little journals. Um, can't remember the kind of um, binding we did or not. I can't remember what it's called. But I had finally gone and got all of the cat, a bunch of the cat's pictures printed. And I've put that mo a lot of them in there. There's only one really one address really posted for us. Um, I don't have my house address posted anywhere, I don't think. So if you sent it to Saluda, East Saluda Lake, you're probably fine. Two. Well, it's not raining here, thankfully. We are so glad to have a break from the rain for at least a little bit. It's been such a pretty day today. I need to get that wool I bought at that um, fiber um, sale up there in North Carolina. I need to get it put moved out of the bag that everybody tells me is too dangerous to put out for the birds. 
that's got all like the scrap wool in it. So I want to get that put out so they can be using it in their nest. That's what I bought it for. Because I thought it'd be fun to watch them build nests with that thing. Oh no, your leak's not fixed. There's a house not too far from where we are. And they've had a tarp on their roof since we moved up here nearly four years ago. And all I could think of is they must not have insurance. Because what the insurance company, when you call your insurance and they tell you they'll um, give you like $2,000, what you do is after you've gotten your roof repaired, you send a copy of the bill and some pictures of the new roof. Then they send you the balance. So it might sound like they're not sending you much, but that's been our experience. Let me back up. That was our experience is you have to get the roof put on before they'll give you the total amount that the insurance will cover. Just an FYI. I'm inking the edges that'll show on this one. Did I do it on this other one? I bet I didn't. Oh, I didn't, but you know what? It doesn't matter on that one because it's black paper. I'm not going to worry about it. Barb Owen was talking about how she'll put me on and then fall asleep. I do that to Mary sometimes. I'll get up early and I'll start chatting in the chat and I'll have my coffee next to me. I'll set the coffee down and once I've set that coffee down, I get Callie in my lap and she starts purring and then it's over with. It's just flat over with. Just There's just no coming back from getting a cat on your lap. All right. Ooh, look at me. I'm covered in ink. Yes, you're fine. I've tried to share all of the cards and stuff I've gotten. Um, we ha I don't know about y'all. Um, but we have not, um, been getting mail. So I don't know if there's just no mail being sent my way or if they're hoarding it or something. I don't know. Or, cause I haven't gotten anything all week. Yesterday, the only thing we got was, um, that, uh, request to buy our house, which I wish they'd stop doing that. I wish people would get over wanting to buy people's houses and flip houses because it gets old real quick. All right, I'm going to pull up my backing tape a ways here. All right. So I need to, that's going to cause a bump. I need to cut some of that away. That's not going to take care of all of it, but it'll take care of some of it. There we go. All right. So now I need to add more tape where I've put the pocket around the edge. I've got to add some more tape there. They wanted to buy your storage building. That is wild. Oh, come on. All right, let's see. Which way did I put the pocket on? Because remember how I told you all, make sure your pockets on a page. Say like if I put this right here, the tags will fall out the side of the book. So if I flip it and put the pocket on the back here, then the tags won't have a tendency of flipping out the book. They'll just flip toward the middle of the book, not fall out.
Bernie Dad, are you hot, honey? All right, I know it looks like I've got ears going in 50 different directions here, but it's all good. Oh, no, it's not. That does not go straight to the page. It has to go on one of these first. Durr, Becky. It's all good. Glad I caught it. I was like, this don't look right. All right, pull this tape out of here. All right, good enough. Now, I'll put it on this page. I'll need to make a tag or two to stick in here. I sh you should have sold it to them. Well, see, this is our thing with our house that we own. All they ever want to offer us is what we paid for it 20 something years ago. And that is not going to happen. They're dreaming. Especially with a new roof, the hot water heater is fairly new, the furnace and AC is fairly new. No. Ain't happening. Not gonna happen. No, no, no. So I need a tag. I'll have to make a tag. Let's get this side decorated up here. And then we gotta put our card together and then we'll do the, the giveaway and then I'll get off from here. So somebody else can play for a while. She's panting. Let me block the kitchen door and I'll let her get out. Hang on. You want to get out of there? Oh, the sun's getting you. No wonder. Say, duh, mom. Say, duh, mama. Say, why are you being so stupid, mama? Okay. We'll put the cart in front of the kitchen door so you don't get any cat food. All right. Come on. No, we're not going out. No. No cat food. Come here. Bernadette, come here. Come here. Oh, stretch, stretch. Now you can lay under the fan. That'll be good, won't it? Where are you going? Just got to shake it out. Shake it out. Oh, you're going to tear it down? Yep, she was a hot dog. She says, oh, this is good. I'm laying right under the fan. It's magical under the fan, you know. Bernadette. Sweet Bernadette. What you doing? She say, I'm sitting here looking like a silly dog. She needs to go to the groomers, but I'm kind of iffy about taking her to the groomers right now. One guy kept calling us, so what we did is each of us, no matter who he called, because he called both of our phone numbers, um, we kept raising the price every time he called. Well, you called again, so now it's you know two hundred fifty thousand dollars. Oh, you've called again; it's three hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. He quit calling us, so <laughs> I got to put this together, and then we'll do the giveaway. I guess I should write a number down. Y'all can't see what number I'm writing down. Let me write a number over here. Um, all right, we'll do that next.
Oh, I'm all gummed up here. Now these should have their stick them on them, so it's just a matter of peel and stick, peel and stick. What I might do before I make tags, I might make sure I can finish all of my pages before I make tags and then whatever my leftover bits will, you know, end up being, that'll end up being what I make tags out of. Um, and I'll decide what sizes and all that. That way I don't use up all my black paper, you know, making tags, and then I can't finish my book, is what I'm thinking. Hi, Sana. Scott gave me a list of things he would like off Amazon. So I guess I need to do up an Amazon order. We're getting close. And then I still have what? I have um, two more pages to do. And then I've got tags to make. Oh, it's not delivering right now? Oh, boy. Everybody's going to be in rough shape if the delivery people can't work. There's Kathy. She's back. Well, I'm, I guess I'm lucky I got my tongue depressors in. I was wondering how long it would be before the delivery services stopped, too. I, ju I just don't know. I know Amazon has a fleet of their own vehicles here, so, you know, we don't have to rely on UPS and the post office much anymore because... The Amazon trucks actually come out, but our driver said that they switched them around, our Amazon driver, and that he'd been having to go farther away. He likes to stop, and if Bernadette's out in the yard, he stops and talks with her, but I hadn't seen him in a while, and then he stopped and said that he'd been told he had to deliver out in this other area. Those bees that eat your house are out working and flying around. One more, and then I will get you all to do this real quick. That's kind of weird to hire 600 people. Yep, boar bees. They're all around here. Scott built some traps. To trap some of them so that they're not totally eating the cottage away. I don't really know. If the wood in this house hadn't been so old, it would probably be crumbling in around us because it was full of termites. But what they ate, they didn't eat the old wood that's like fire lighter. I mean, I would never put a fire in this fireplace ever because this house is just like one big torch. But, um, they went in between the wall and they got along the where the um, sheetrock is. They ate all the paste out of the tape of the sheetrock. So all of the sheetrock where there are seams, it's kind of bubbled out. That's what took us so long to fix the little room um, here. And see, I think I did that backwards. Well, the, the binoculars are just going to be upside down on this one. We'll just slide this in. Of course, if you put something on top of it, you wouldn't notice it anyway. I'll probably be the only one that notices this. those are upside down. Now, when I made the card up front here with y'all, I did like a little plate. And I might put a little plate like that on the front where you could write like the date and where you were on the front of these cards. So there and there and here. And then I'll make a tag. And then I've got to do these two. 
and I'll probably put a pocket on the last page back here. So this card will flip and actually fold this way. Like so. So I got, what, three more pages done with you guys. And I've just got to do tags. And you see how it's filling up? And then when you put pictures in it, it'll be exactly full. It might even bubble a little bit, but not too bad, I don't think. So there is that. Well, the house has been painted, but this is the thing. My sister-in-law had them come in and paint it with a spray system. I don't like spray painted houses. They do, the paint does not get applied deeply enough into the wood and it doesn't last even five years. Um, so the whole place to me needs to be painted again properly, but it's not my house. I'm not gonna worry about it. So there's that. So I'm gonna type go in one number each between a hundred, no, one and a hundred. Man, it is time for a cup of coffee, you guys. And uh, whoever's closest without going over will win the bee box. Let's see if I can do this. Go. So one to a hundred. Don't worry about duplicates. It'll be the first one that's closest without going over. And I will mail this international. It might cost me a bit, but not too bad, I don't guess. There's only 20 people in here, so you have a good chance of winning. <laughs> Let's see. That's probably about 20 people, isn't it? Eleven. The last nine people. Do you want a chance at winning the bee box? I'll give it a few more seconds. Okay. I'm typing in stop S T O P. All right. So I have my notes from Barb. The number is 72. 72. So if I go back up through and come back down from the top. Teresa had 60. Ruth went over. All right, so it's Teresa. Would you all agree Teresa Church wins the bee box with 60? Do, do, do. All right, so congratulations to Teresa. All right, you guys, um, Mary will be on later. I don't know if anybody else is coming on before Mary, but Mary, we'll see you later tonight. Oh, let me do a quick flip of the little cards we did yesterday. Um, I just thought they turned out so cute. I wanted to show them again because I've added some things to a couple. So I gave her a tutu, and then I gave her some um, sleeves. And I did UBU on all of them, except the little girl that I did um, just a note. So go this way. And I gave her some shoes with shoelaces. But I just really like how they, and I gave a bunch of more sleeves, put sleeves and wiggle marks on their um, borders. These are just so much fun. Teresa, I'll put one in your package too because I, I have a couple extras. The rest of these are going to go with the people that wanted to swap twinchies and inchies with me.
I just really like how they turned out. They're so stinking cute. Look, this one, I put dots in her skirt and then I decided she needed some sleeves. So I just cut some triangles and gave her sleeves. I think that made it look really cute. That's that um, tape sheetrock people use between sheetrock. And then there's the little girl one. So I'll let you guys go and uh, see you at Mary's. I'm not gonna. I'm not planning to. I do not know what Scott and I are gonna do. We're we're thinking about just staying here in Greenville, um, and not go down to the house again until April. So I don't know if we'll stream or not. Uh, we talked about maybe doing a video of walking around in the woods and showing what's in bloom here. Okay. So I'll see you guys um, next week, most definitely. But I'm not sure about over the weekend. Okay, take care. Bye. I guess I got to sign out over here, not on the phone. All right, bye. <laughs>